Good morning. Welcome back to the Wildings Landing. I told you that at some point I was going to do a video where we were just chatting. Where I was just kind of telling you a little more about myself. And that we'd probably sit in a chicken coop so you could watch chickens while I do. And I'm going to try to keep this as brief as possible. First of all, I want to say that our hearts and prayers go out to all affected by Hurricane Debbie. Even before it was a hurricane, it was causing issues with flooding and other things. We are very, very blessed. We were not affected. We had rain bands. Probably still have some coming through today. And But we never had any flooding. We never had any damage. We have some down palm fronds. Okay, that's about it. And... The rain bands were spaced out enough to where we didn't get any flooding at all. The ground soaked it up as fast as it went down, but as fast as the rain could come down, but that's because we've been pretty dry. But anyway, before the next band comes through, thought maybe we would just talk a little. A little about why my videos are inconsistent. Things that I deal with. Um, we've got to go back a few years for the history, but, uh, in 2017, I started, uh, undergoing medical treatment for what I later found out was a detached pelvis. Since the birth of my youngest son, who's now in his mid-twenties, I have had extreme lower back issues and pain misdiagnosed several times. The, the detached pelvis definitely made the most sense to me. Doctors sent me to physical therapist because I was non-operable. Physical therapist discontinued my care because he said I was insubordinate. I wasn't being insubordinate. I simply couldn't do the things he wanted me to do. I wasn't physically able to do the exercises and things he wanted me to do. Um, long story short, they told me in August of 2017 that I needed to ask for a wheelchair for Christmas because by December I would lose my ability to walk. I definitely... That definitely affected me mentally. I had at the time a home-based uh, plant nursery that I ended up giving up. Some of the plants ended up moving out here. Some of them I gave away. Some of them I had massive sales and just got rid of them. Um, but I wasn't physically able to keep up with it anymore anyway. Uh, there were a lot of times I couldn't walk. There were a lot of times that I couldn't get out of bed. Um, so I definitely couldn't run a nursery. But, um, I think it was October, I rescued, who some may remember, um, my big boy buddy, rescued a dog. He was English Mastiff and Rottweiler Mix. He was a big boy, 140 pounds. Well, once he got healthy, he was 140 pounds. He was 72 pounds when I adopted him. Um, that dog needed me. That dog needed me to walk. That dog needed me to exercise. He needed me. He needed me to go throw coconuts. I think somewhere on this video you'll see some somewhere, not on this video, but on this channel, you go way back, you'll see videos of me throwing coconuts for him. Um, it was his favorite thing to fetch. And, uh, that made me move, and that helped a lot. And in April of 2018, we bought this property. And I had gotten mobile enough, and I had gotten myself without medical care um, to a point where mama stop kicking dirt all over me um, to a point where I was pretty physically active 
Maybe not 100%. I still had bad days. I absolutely had bad days. But I knew bad days were just going to be a part of my life. Um, but I was able to use a chainsaw, able to use a sawzaw. I did a lot of this land clearing, or I at least helped with a lot of this land clearing. Um, I was very active in it. Those polis are too cute. Um, I was very active in that. And, uh, I was doing okay. And doing pretty much what I needed to do. I was able to do most of the gardening stuff. I did have my middle son here that was helping me. As all of you know, I've given him lots of credit throughout the years. Probably not enough, but lots. And uh, I just summoned all the birds because I moved this log so I could get my feet on it. And now they're all like, well, not all, but some are right here to check out what are the goodies. Anyway. <clears throat> um, in March of 2023, I was involved in a car accident that was not my fault. <clears throat> I was making a right hand turn with a green arrow and somebody making a left hand turn onto the same road, ran a red light, hit me. He was driving an older model <clears throat> F-250. I was driving a Kia Sorento. He hit me almost broadside on the driver's side. Knocked my car about 55, 60 feet. When I finally slammed on the brakes, I didn't have my foot on the gas, but when I finally slammed on the brakes, I, I, I realized I was about to hit a concrete pole. Um, there was a 7-Eleven at that intersection. <laughs> and uh, when I realized I was about to hit a concrete pole, I slammed on my brakes. My car spun some. His truck went into the into a pillar the, in front of 7-Eleven. My car wiped out the bike rack and a couple of other minor things but that accident definitely impacted me medically long term for the rest of my life I did pursue legal action he's such a great rooster I did pursue legal action um, I did hire an attorney nothing came of that um, I did get some medical treatment out of it for a while for about four months five months I was under chiropractic care um, I was under uh, orthopedic care one of the procedures that I had done the only procedure that I had done they dropped my case three days before my second procedure um, one of the procedures that I had done is they went in and just literally shot me full of anti-inflammatories. Uh, what was affected was my spine throughout. I now have scoliosis, which I never had before. Didn't deal with that. I do now. Um, the impact was on my left side, my left shoulder, my left hip, left leg, and of course... It totally messed up my lower back again. Uh, the procedure that I was scheduled to have would have killed all the nerve endings in my upper spine, my lower spine, so that I didn't have pain in my neck, shoulder, and lower back any longer. That procedure never happened. Because the law firm that I had hired, no, I'm not going to tell you which ones they were, but I wouldn't recommend them. Um, drop the case right before the second procedure, so I never had that one done. The procedure I did have was just essentially shooting those areas with anti-inflammatory, and it lasted 
three or four weeks, which I was thankful for it. Don't get me wrong. I was thankful. But the lasting issues that I will have for the rest of my life are vertigo, migraines, extreme exhaustion, limited use of my left hip and my left leg. Um, I mentioned that I now have scoliosis. So it literally <laughs> bent my spine, <laughs> sort of. Uh, and I noticed early on when the hot weather started that the heat definitely triggers the vertigo and triggers the, the migraines. Not that I don't have them anyway, but anything I can do to make them less is good. And the heat was definitely... I, I would come out and try to work in the gardens and try to do planting and stuff. And I would get overheated, get dizzy, get disoriented from the vertigo. Get my way back over and sit down. And cool off in front of a fan or whatever. And <clears throat> things would sort of subside. But because some of the damage was in my upper spine, my cervical spine, the part of my spine that attaches up there by my brain, then I have damage, uh, essentially, some brain damage. <laughs> um, I don't talk about it. I didn't talk about it for a long time. Because, first of all, when it was in litigation, I couldn't really talk about it. Um, after the firm that I hired dropped my case, after a little bit, I talked to some other firms and found out that my case was actually handled backwards. One of the things that I was interested in pursuing is none of my airbags ever went off in my Kia. And I wanted to pursue why faulty airbags or, you know, was, was there some kind of issue? That should have been the first part of my suit. Oh, look, we're watching hens fight. Um, and it wasn't. They pursued the insurance claim part of the case first. Now, I didn't know that that was wrong until I found out that it was wrong. And then when I found out it was wrong, it was just too late. The car had already been impounded or junked or whatever the insurance company did with it. Um, and without that car to inspect, I couldn't pursue it with another law firm. I'm an uninsured American. So I didn't have a way to pursue, I didn't have a way to pursue uh, my medical treatment on my own, which was advised to me, but I didn't have that ability. So I have never pursued the medical end of that. I just go on the best that I can go on every day. And sometimes that's more than others. Sometimes I'm more able to do things than I am others. Some days you don't get videos. Sometimes you don't get videos because I'm just going through a period of time where I can't do any videos or earn any. There isn't anything in my life to do a video about. I'm not really doing anything. So, because of that, you're not getting a video. Um, I am homesteading to the best of my ability. Yes, I am, Dap. Don't argue with me. I've raised you, haven't I? Okay, then. Um, I find taking care of livestock easier than gardening, physically. Even though there's a lot of coop cleaning right now, I, I still find it to be less physically taxing than doing the gardens. I'm going to start planting... It is August and I need to start planting for the fall and the cooler weather 
and I look forward to it. It's something I do love. I wouldn't have owned a nursery if I didn't love plants, right? Um, anyway, uh, I fight on a lot of levels. I mean, I fight mentally, not being able to do things that I could once do. And some of that is age, no doubt. I'm not young. I'm in my mid-50s. But a lot of it is, you know... <laughs> Dap, what's wrong? And, uh... But, for the most part, my inability is because of the accident at this time. And like I said, it wasn't anything that I discussed. I didn't really know how to approach it. I definitely do not want any pity. I do not want, you know, I always accept prayer, but I am not looking for sympathy or pity by any means. What I want you to see when you do see my videos and you see my channel is a woman who fights hard every day to do what she does. And I want you to see that Even with limitations, sometimes a lot of them, that you can do what you want to do if you're determined enough. And that is one thing I've never lacked, is determination. Um, so I just kind of wanted to let you know kind of wanted to bring you along and, and tell you about the accident, tell you about my limitations to a degree, so that you understood when there might be weeks without a video, those are weeks I might not be doing real well. They might be weeks that I'm struggling. They might be weeks that I'm just busting butt and trying to get some things done and I'm not actually recording it, because that happens. Um... And I'm trying to get better at that. I'm trying to bring you along for more things. I'm trying to remember to pick up my phone and my tripod. No tripod today, just my phone. Um, I'll learn how to use my speakers eventually. Uh, <laughs> and um, bring you what I can bring you. But that's a look into why and give you some background on why you may or may not see, you know, maybe the regular, normal, whatever normal homesteading is, videos. You don't see me garden year-round. You don't see me tilling. You don't see me... I really don't use the power tools anymore. Because who in the heck wants to have a chainsaw in their hand or even a sawzaw in your in your hand and get vertigo? I don't climb on ladders anymore because so I don't do a lot of the tree trimming because I don't want to get on a ladder and get dizzy. That wouldn't help anything. Um, so I have I do drive not a lot. Most of the time, my husband drives. Again, because you don't want to be driving and vertigo, have vertigo onset, and then you're like, crap, I have to pull over until this passes. And sometimes it passes kind of quickly, and sometimes it does not. The extreme exhaustion is also something that is hard to deal with. I get very tired very easily. I take naps almost daily. The days that I don't, boy, do I feel it. Um, so I do rest and lay down often. Rooster fighting. I'll be glad when Spunky has his own coop. Dap. Dap. Leave Spunky alone. He doesn't ever go after. Dap is definitely my dominant. He's my boy. But, as I've explained before, Spunky's going to get his own coop with his own hens, all the Brahmas, 
the Jer and the Jersey Giants are going to move. Axel, no. Lay down. I have a blue nose pit that is not real chicken friendly. <clears throat> I don't think he would be real chicken friendly. His brother is, but him not so much. He doesn't try to go after him through the fence or anything like that, but I think his curiosity would not be good. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> Mama's over there teaching him a lesson. <laughs> Get your nose out of my run. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to just kind of give you a little backstory. Um, this property. And doing what we've done and what we continue to do keeps me moving. It keeps me walking. It keeps me doing lots of things. Um, we, we have discussed getting a wheelchair so that I can do things like flea markets and, you know, things. If, if we ever go to, we did go to a theme park couple of years ago and I was in a wheelchair for the theme park didn't even have a problem with it I mean it is what it is it was the way that I could enjoy the theme park um, but I don't really go to flea markets and stuff like that anymore because I don't go anywhere that I have to stay on my feet for any real amount of time because I'm not able um, my back will start hurting so bad that I can't walk and then what do you do uh, so, like I said, this wasn't about sympathy, it's not about pity, I don't want either one. I just, I would always welcome your prayers, I would always welcome your encouragement, but I thought that some explanation into why you saw things one way a couple of years ago and why you see them now, the way you do now, makes sense you know so that you understood why the why behind what's going on and with that being said i need to close because i've got some things in here i need to do i need to fill their five gallon water and i need to rinse down my <clears throat> trash cans i rinse down the tops of them because you know for obvious reasons they get gross and smell funky so, I need to wash all of that down. I came in this morning and cleaned out that coop, which is why there's all kinds of bedding. <coughs> Excuse me. I cleaned it out so that they had a dry run. Because with all the rain, of course, everything in here was wet. Icky. But anyway. Are you done with me talking, huh? I do have some things I need to take care of, some things I need to do. Get back to this off-grid living. I also just have some regular housework that I need to do. Some vacuuming and blowing and dishes and, you know. My housework may not look a lot like your housework, but I still have to keep areas clean and keep things put up and taken care of. So I'm going to go do all those things. I love you and I appreciate you. I appreciate you being around. <coughs> For my longtime subscribers, I love you guys to death. You guys inspire me in so many ways. Southern Latitudes, little do you know, with just a few words on my last video, you made a big difference. But you're a great friend and you always have. By the way, if you check out my channel and you're not watching Southern Latitudes, you're missing something. You need to go check her out. Uh, Connie over at the Sugar Creek Homestead. I think she's off grid Sugar Creek. I don't remember the name of her channel offhand. But you could do some searching and find her. They love to roost on top of the rabbit cage. Uh, they love to get up there and get away from the roosters. Um, anyway, she has also been very encouraging to me. And without really knowing the whole story, Robin doesn't really know. Robin over at Southern Latitudes, she knew about the accident. 
but her knowledge was also limited and Green Thumb Gardening Channel, there are so many of you that have been so incredibly supportive. Those are just a few. And I'd like my subscribers to also go check them out. Green Thumb is always, you know, how are things going down there? He's in Georgia. Uh, but we've supported each other's channels for a long time. Um, Connie was at Sugar Creek Homestead or Off Grid Sugar Creek Homestead. I forgot our channel. I, I'm sorry about that. Wish I could remember exactly the name of her channel, but she was one of my she was one of my first subscribers. So was uh, Robin at Southern Latitudes. But I would encourage you to go check out those fine people that help keep me going and give me the words. The encouragement that I need sometimes. I was kind of down on myself for not gardening this summer. And then, you know, I've mentioned before, I realized that raising chicks for the future egg production and future meat production is homesteading. I might not be growing a garden, but I'm growing meat and I'm growing protein. And that's something. And I'm mentally getting ready for pigs I'm trying to figure out where exactly I want them to be um, trying to kind of figure out the configuration I did find a Idaho pasture pig breeder semi locally just maybe 80 miles away maybe not even that far um, in Avon Park don't go by all the pigs just because I told you uh, I'm interested in doing business with them. And so that will probably be the next adventure. I don't know when that adventure will happen, but that'll be my next adventure. But anyway, we got another rain band moving in. I need to close this down so that I can get things taken care of. <coughs> <coughs> hmm? And I just wanted to bring you along and chat a little bit. <coughs> let you get to know me a little bit more and knowing somebody's struggles is getting to know them <coughs> and seeing their victories and seeing their uh... <coughs> excuse me I need a drink um, accomplishments is one way to get to know them but knowing the backstories and knowing what they struggle with is another way to get to know them. So I thank you for hanging out with me today and getting to know me a little bit better. I hope you've watched the whole video. Feel free to leave a comment and hit the like button. Share it if you know of somebody that's struggling with physical limitations. They think they can't do it. Show them yes you can. Yes you can. You might not do it the way other people do it, but you can do it. You can do something. I look at Deep South Homestead and just shake my head. Danny and Wanda, they're a big channel and so many people know of them. But uh, I watch them and they inspire me a lot too. Because I know Danny has a lot of limitations and he don't slow down. Sometimes I look at them and think what they can do it. So can I and get off my butt and go do something. But... We will be planting some things soon. Up close to my dapple. Uh, he's literally at my feet anyway, but... I uh, want to just, like I said, bring you along. And thank you. I love you guys. And we will talk soon. Maybe our next video will actually be planting some seeds or something. Who knows? I still need to bring you along to show you the coop that we're building. So, could be that. Who knows? All right. Love you. Do all those things. Talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>